Fireside at GAVC is a two-year program. The first year focuses on introduction to the fire service and introduction to EMS. Any more of the fire service and EMS are very much combined. That's why most local fire departments you'll see uh, ambulances alongside the firefighters and most firefighters have medical training. So the first year of our program focuses on introduction to that. Most students come in with little to no background in either fire or EMS and we provide you with all of that information necessary to uh, start making some career decisions and start down the path to becoming a firefighter and an EMT. So the first year of our program covers the basics. Everybody's assigned uh, turnout gear, which consists of your fire coat, your pants, your boots, a helmet. Uh, everybody gets an air pack and the equipment that we're using is the same stuff that firefighters use nationwide. Uh, we're very fortunate that we have great relationships with some local fire departments that give us uh, some of this equipment. But this is the same equipment that people are using currently. This is not old uh, equipment or anything of that nature. This is current stuff that fire service professionals use everywhere. So that's one of the things that sets our program apart. Everybody's given all that equipment. Uh, there's no sharing uh, of any of the personal equipment, which is especially important in COVID times. Um, but right from the get-go, we get an introduction to the fire service. We learn um, the basics of the setup of the fire service, the rank structure, uh, things like that and, and some of the basics from there. Uh, we are very fortunate here at GAVC, we have our own fire engine, uh, which again is uh, a fire engine that's still the same style, same type of used nationally. Uh, it's in great condition and we are beyond fortunate to have that here. But it's great because we're able to go out right here on property and perform drills using that fire engine. We're able to spray water with our hoses, we're able to do pumping drills, we're able to do the same stuff that current firefighters do uh, all over the nation on a daily basis right here at GAVC and without ever leaving. Um, so we have that fire engine which, which separates our, our program from some others. Um, so right from the get-go, Fire Science 1 students are using that fire engine, they're using their gear, using their equipment, using the hose lines uh, and learning some of the basics uh, of fire science. As we move forward throughout the semester, we get into our air packs, we start doing some search and rescue drills. Uh, looking for victims. That's the, that's the reason the fire service exists is to protect life and protect property. So we practice finding uh, finding victims in, in simulated smoky conditions and in simulated fire conditions because again that's what firefighters are doing every day on a daily basis when they train. So we're doing some of that stuff right off the bat. Uh, as we move forward uh, with some of those basics we get into more, some more advanced things throughout the year. Um, we cover auto extrication, we cover some different technical rescue scenarios but all current fire science things. The textbook that we're teaching from is the same textbooks that's used at fire academies uh, in the area and again nationwide. Uh, aside from that textbook being used at fire academies, it's used at Joliet Junior College. That's one of the great things about our program. You receive dual credit through Joliet Junior College. Um, if you're to stick with the program for both years, you'll receive 13 hours of college credit. You don't have to stick with the program for both years. There are students who come in and after a first year decide this is not for them, but uh, the, the majority of students do stick with this for the two years. Our Fire Science 2 students, uh, the first semester of Fire Science 2 is EMR, Emergency Medical Responder. That's a prerequisite at Joliet Junior College for their EMT program. And again, as I mentioned before, uh, the fire service now encompasses EMS um, nationwide. So. Uh, to get a career in the fire service, you have to embrace the medical side of things. So that first semester, second, uh, second year fire science, we do the EMR curriculum. Again, that's through Joliet Junior College, so you're earning uh, your college credit, but you're also getting that prerequisite for their EMT program, uh, all handled right here at GAVC. So the first semester, all EMS, all hands-on. Uh, we have different training aids, different mannequins, different things we use to simulate some of the real world emergencies that firefighters and medical personnel are dealing with on a daily basis. After the first semester of your second year of fire science, um, we, we merge back up and we get more into the hands-on of firefighting again. Again, doing some of the more advanced skills, like I mentioned, auto extrication, some technical rescues, learn about public education, which is things where the firefighters are going out uh, into schools or into the communities to educate the public. That's a big part of our job. Um, so we like to cover all of the things that firefighters nationwide and locally, obviously, are doing uh, at an introductory level. Our goal is to give you a leg up on the competition should you leave here and pursue a career in the fire service. And we have a lot of students who've done that. Uh, we have a great relationship with the local departments, Morris, obviously, 
um, Manuka, Shanahan, Coal City, um, Gardner South Wilmington, all the area departments we have great relationship with. Um, we have sent many students on from this program to work uh, in some of those departments. Uh, we also have a great relationship with the local fire academies. Um, most fire departments, when they hire a, a person full-time or even part-time, they'll send you to a fire academy. Again, we've talked to those fire academies. We use the same curriculum they're teaching, and we teach that at, a, uh, at an age-appropriate level here. So should you go on from here and go to a fire academy, much of the stuff that you've done here, you'll, you'll repeat at the fire academy. So you'll have a, have a leg up on all those other students at the fire academy. Um, we work with the area chiefs, um, make sure we know what they're doing so we can prepare you uh, to go on for a career in their department or for a job in their department. Uh, I'm a full-time firefighter myself. My partner, Chief Joe Vish, he's also a full-time firefighter. So the great thing is we're working on shift and we come here to school that next day and we're teaching students about the things that are happening on a daily basis. So if I see a call at the firehouse on a Tuesday, I can come in Wednesday morning and, and share that with the students, share that with you guys. So it's all current real world information. The fire service is rapidly changing uh, thanks to data, technology, things like that. So the things that we see changing on a daily basis in our firehouse, we can come back the next day and share those lessons with these students. Again, that sets our program apart from a lot of others. We're able to share the real world information and bring you the changes as they happen. Um, also able to offer a ride along program through the city of Joliet. So our students can learn here, um, learn these skills, then they're able to go uh, into the city of Joliet, ride at different fire companies there. So they're actually able to see in a hands-on setting the stuff that we're learning in class. So um, some really great opportunities. Uh, we'd love to have you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out.